of the family and all the kids talk about us. Always wanted to travel abroad. And, um, and I've always been really interested them. in international aid and things like that. So I figured it was a perfect program for me. Um, and then since I've been in it, it's just been an amazing, life-changing experience. I mean, like, it has taught me so much that I, I never expected, and it's, it's been a revolutionary program for me uh, while I've been here at FSU. Um, we're doing a class where we kind of learn all of, like, the tools that we need as far as why we're going there. Like, it, the class really helps change our perspective, whereas before we kind of have the mindset that we're going to go and, like, change the world in another country. But, like, with the class, it kind of tells you how to immerse yourself in, a, in an experience before you can, you know, think of ways to change it or help make it better. I don't think we had hot water any time in India, at least not the places we were. So I'll be going to Ho, Ghana, uh, which is on the western coast of Africa, and uh, in coordination with a local, uh, a local uh, non-for-profit organization there. Uh, we, I helped design a, a public health water sanitation project. Um, so that's what we're going to be implementing over there. We're going to try to uh, install about five water filtration systems into different uh, local municipality schools. And also while I'm over there in, for my capstone project, I really want to do an anthropological survey of how, how each village uh, views uh, water sanitation and public health. We stayed with a family um, who owned the school. We stayed in their guest house. Uh, um, in Ghana, I'm going to be a teacher's aide with Mouvio Outreach Program. Um, it's, I'll be a teacher's aide mostly throughout the day, but I've, being a creative writing major and a communications major, um, I'm really passionate about um, just kind of culture and identity, learning who we are as people, like where we stem from. And so some of the projects that I'll be doing there more personally is kind of like the connection between Africans and African-American people in America. We've had the fortune of being able to travel internationally and actually live and work overseas. And coming back to the U.S., realize that it gives you another dimension. I think if you only stay within your little community or just within the U.S., it's two-dimensional. To go abroad, it, it opens your eyes, it just gives you a whole other perspective of other cultures, of other life, other opportunities, and I want students to be able to experience that. I think to be successful you have to have a perspective, and if your perspective is broad and global, then I think you can see where the real horizon is, not just the near horizon, but the far horizon, and I think people come back changed. My wife and I lived overseas when we were in our early 30s, and it changed who we were and how we saw the world and how we perceived everything. And we feel like if you can do that as a young student, then your entire perspective and your willingness to give and to excel is just profoundly changed. Joe Shea has always uh, told me this, and I really believe it's true. The only way to really challenge yourself and grow is, and think critically, uh, is to be thrown into an environment that you're not uh, homogenous with, you know? Being put into situations that you're not comfortable with or being thrown into different communities and really challenging yourself to think critically outside of the box, you know, forcing you to design your own projects and, and be part of a new culture, that is what really encourages you to grow as a person. And, more than you know, being able to be called a global scholar or winning scholarships or designing all these research projects, that's what's important is that not only do I get to grow as a person, but in the process I get to help.